It's going to hell. <clears throat> um, I was right about the snatch. There was something about it that I didn't like. And with sewing it down, I figured out what it was. With the clean, we'll get there, but there's something I don't like about it, but I'm not sure quite what it is. The jerk um, is pretty evident, like I talked about before. So what I did was I shortened the video down a bit. <clears throat> um, I think I have three or four lifts of each, and those were your heavier lifts. So we're just going to go through all of them. Um, we're pretty much going to see the same issues all across the board. But just seeing it multiple times and seeing the subtle differences, I think, will help. Um, so I think this is 135 that you're getting ready to pull. I like the starting position. Your back's nice and flat. Shoulders are slightly in front of the bar. It's not too bad. Now, the first pull is... That's where you're messing up. So first... Notice how the hips are coming up more so than the bar. We need to fix that. Now watch. <clears throat> the One of the most important positions in the snatch is the top of the knee, in my opinion, especially for amateurs. or Not amateurs, but you know when you're non-professional lifters. So this position right here is not good. So look how flat your back is and how far um, the shoulders are in front of the bar. We want our shoulders in front of the bar in this position, but not this much. So basically your legs are straight. This is like you're in a good morning position right now. And that's not a good position. That's not a strong position to finish that pull. So what we want is in this position, we want our shoulders to be maybe about back here instead of there. Um, I do like how you're getting the shins vertical, but you're getting them too vertical too quickly. So we need to keep the shoulders back. See how they just keep your back just stays flat the entire time. Um, so we need to get those shoulders back and not when you do this pull, it's all the pressure is going to be on your lower back instead of in your hips and in your upper back. Um, now this, you get it into your hips relatively well, um, but this position here, you should be back here. Oh, hold on. You should be back here in this area. So, see how your heels come up? Well, no, just notice in general that you're forward. See how you're here? This is, now you start extending and start pulling underneath the bar. Or like popping that hip. This position, you should be back here and then extend it. <clears throat> Some gymnast I like to use the gymnastics term. So, you have the hollow position for gymnastics. And then you have the... Um, the extended position, right? Like when we're learning to kip a pull-up. Well, we need to be in that extended position here. So we kind of want our body, our heels, and then we're just going to be nice and round it in that extended position and our head's back here. Um, so then and pop it up. You catch it nice and strong. I mean, that weight isn't heavy for you, but it's just the, it's that first pull and then your hips. Feet look good. Um, you know, that's a pretty decent position. I like to see this from the front, um, you know, from this 45 degree angle here, so I could see your feet a little bit better. Um, that would help a little bit, um, seeing the distance. You might want to think about getting wider, but then I'll talk more about that in the clean. Here we go. So, watch, same thing. Watch where those hips go. Nice and high. Oh, well, not nice and high, but you know what I mean. The hips are super high. All right? This is a this is a good morning, and there's no power in a good morning. There's no power there at all. 
Let me get through. See, we're here. And that's going to come into effect on that last one when you miss forward. Come back, and then you catch it. And the, the only reason you're making this lift is just because you're strong. Um, and you can handle that load. It's not too bad. Bottom, bottom positions are looking pretty decent, actually. Um, you're just inconsistent. I think I mentioned the in the in imprecision with the overhead position, but that might be um, because of um, not doing that, not hitting that second position. This is probably your best one, but I mean it's still not great. So you're still forward again. Underneath, see now look look at this weight distribution. You're way forward. Is this the one you miss? Yeah. So that's why you miss that one. It was you were just forward the entire time. When when you're here, when you get when you're there, everything's forward. Now everything's gonna want to stay out this way, and now the weight you can't, you can't muscle that weight back. You can't muscle that weight back in this direction. So now it stays forward, and you end up missing it because it stays forward. And then here, <clears throat> you just kind of muscle it. You kind of focus on, bam, that's all I need to get. So, not, I mean, that's a decent power snatch. Besides the first pull, you just got to fix the first pull. And then the second pull's messed up because the first pull's messed up. But that's that's another day. We'll talk about that. Alright, for the clean, the clean's not bad. Um, you get into a decent position. This is kind of like where the snatch should be. Um, you might even be able to bring it a little farther, back, bring your shoulders back just a little bit more, but it's better than the snatch. Um... Not too bad. You get underneath, you catch it really high, which is good, I guess. You write it down. See, check the feet out here. I think you might be able to catch. Do your feet move? I don't think they do. And if they do move, they don't move a lot. Yeah, they move about an inch or two, maybe. Um, with how tall you are, I think. If once we increase your hip mobility, you might be able to go a bit wider, which will make the clean a little bit easier. See, and I don't like these elbows. For the clean, it's all right. It'll happen. But I, th I think I'd like those elbows a little bit higher, but not being able to see your hands, I can't really tell. And this is just, this is, you can fix this immediately, and you have to fix it immediately. This is not, this is basically doing the same thing that the that's happening in the snatch. The bar is going to want to go forward, right? Your elbows are dropping, so the bar is going to want to go forward even more. Your hips are back, right? So everything this that's like a it's like a half squat. Like yeah, you want to get momentum on the bar, but if if that bar is 400 pounds and you do a half squat like that, you're not going to be able to get back up. It needs to be short. It needs to be, bam, right there, that's it. But the hips need to stay underneath. The hips should be right in line with the heels the whole time. You should be a nice straight line. The knees, the knees should be pushed out on either side. They shouldn't stay straight. You don't want that. So the dip is just way too deep. You get through just because it's strong enough. So this isn't bad. Your feet really go wide here. It looks. I mean, actually, yeah, that's pretty good. I like the width from here to here. I like that. This foot needs to come out more. Uh, we want a vertical shin. Vertical shin. Your shoulder mobility looks decent. You don't have a crazy arch in your back. It's not too bad. Let's see this again. 
Again, the first pull isn't too bad. But, uh, there you go. I'd like to see a little bit more extension. So see how your hip still isn't fully open? We, we need to hit... This is closer. So if you compare this to your other one, we, we want to get that extended position. And this is really close. But we, I think we can extend that hip a little bit more. We get under, a nice catch. Not too bad. All those look pretty good in the clean. It's just that jerk. The jerk elbows. And then that super deep dip. Come forward. See, now look. Now it's getting heavier. And the split is getting worse. Now, since it's heavier, you have to actually press out more. You have to get more momentum on it. You are not pushing the bar up. The bar shouldn't be going up. It it will because of the dip and the momentum that you're creating on it. But it's you that needs to get down. And by doing that, we need to get this foot out. And this foot back. You need to push yourself under the bar, not you pushing the bar up. You need to get underneath it. And we're going to see that in the one that you fail, you have the bar crazy high. And that's the next one we'll get there. Clean, you know, clean's not bad. The bottom position, you look a little rounded here in all of them. Um, maybe that's some upper back mobility issue. Um, some T-spine would help with that, with the peanut. Pop it up. Watch your feet. The huge dip. That one was a little bit better than the last one. Um, actually, that was probably your best jerk. Now this one. This is probably your worst clean. Uh, maybe not. That's a decent clean. It's about the same. Bottom position looked pretty good. Huge dip. And that's just, that's a terrible jerk. Here, I mean, your foot just moved, maybe, maybe it moved a whole foot, but that's just, that foot has to get out here. That was just all press. That was all pressing. Just because you're strong enough to press it up. Boom. All right, now this is this this one is this jerk is not good. If you look at this this clean, it wasn't great either. You're way too far out in front of the bar here. Hip extension is a little bit better, like I mentioned. Back looks pretty good in that one actually. Eh, never mind, I just can't see it. All right. So right, the dip is too deep. So now where's the bar going to go? It's going to go forward. Look, you, you just push pressed it. If you're extending like that, right there, you see it? You're just pressing it, pressing it out. That would be a no rep. That's a press out and a meet. Your feet didn't split at all. You know, even you watching this, you would know that it wasn't good. But look how, I want you to notice how high the bar is. This is what I want to talk about. This right here, that's as high as the bar needs to go. Once that bar hits that height, it's just you getting underneath it. You getting your foot out here, right? Getting that thigh, hip here, nice straight. Bam, bam, bam. That's, that's what it should look like right there. You get that underneath there, you're going to be nice and locked out. Everything would be fine. That's super high. And look how high you get it. If you would have just brought your foot out a foot, you know, a foot's length, you would have had that easy. It's just getting underneath it. And then you got to get that head through. Head through. Get the foot out. You just didn't commit to it. I mean, you're probably tired. You did a shitload of snatches. So, all right. Sorry, this is a really long video. Coming up in 15 minutes. Um, yeah, not too bad. Overall, everything looks pretty decent. There's just some small things you got to fix, and then I think they'll make really big changes to help you out. All right.
Talk to you later.